Gemini, what is the good stuff that's coming through at this time for you? What are the, what are the good things that Gemini has to look forward to? One more shot for Gemini. Okay. Let's see. Let's cut the deck. At the bottom of the deck, the energy is the King of Swords. So that's what's hidden. The good stuff is hidden. It's being very strategic and reaching a long desired goal or dream, wish fulfillment, something that makes your heart sing, Gemini. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. It is also going to bring in some money for you. It's the beginning of some collaborative work. I get that you're going to be able to save more money and you have a legacy of wealth, abundance, and family legacy coming in. You know, you'll be this is the kind of wealth that allows you, it's so good. You're going, you might become famous or at least very well known in your genre. You're very strategic. You have so much passion and love to give. And we see people reaching out and wanting to work with you, collaborate with you. At first, you're going to go it alone. You know, you're, you're really being very, very careful with your plans. You're not really giving much away. You're not telling people a lot. But we see the Ace of Swords. You're going to cut through the obstacles that have been there for you. And you're going to make a lot more money. I'm getting that you probably will be able to um, increase or you know, leave another job. If you have like a day job, I think you're gonna leave that legacy, a beautiful home, a beautiful relationship, whatever this is, you may meet a romantic partner. If you are single, we have two kings here. You are coming up as beautiful, desirable. That's hopes and dreams for love coming true. And the legacy card of the 10 of pentacles is the ability Actually, it's inheritance to leave children or family a legacy or an inheritance of some sort. So that is a good stuff. My word, that's really good stuff, Gemini. Oh my goodness, legacy, fame, fortune, but being very stealthy and kind of going it alone. You're not really looking for partnership here. You definitely want to work in your own way. However you want to do things is the way you want to do them. I do think that you are going to do something with a star card. I think it's going to be with the performing arts, not necessarily traditional, but like a vlog or a YouTube channel. I feel as though very much that you're going to, to be successful. So Gemini, let's see what we have here. What are your lover's thoughts, feelings, and intentions with you? Let's see it this time. bottom of the deck we have the star card well they see you as being very fulfilling they see you as an empress look at this you are just you're looking great I don't know what's happening but I would say that over the next three to four months you might do some sort of I wouldn't say a beauty treatment but it's like you're absolutely going to look incredibly good diet exercise I don't know what you're doing but you look amazing nice okay so what is your person we're going to shuffle those in oh magician on the cut that's you gemini look at that you're manifesting you're ma I, I picked up the cards upside down you're manifesting stardom look at that isn't that amazing oh i love it love it love it i'm a gemini so you can read my bio in the description box below is everything you might want to know about me or the video or astrology or tarot <laughs> so so your person, their thoughts, feelings, and, and um, desires, and their actions, well, they're going to take action. They are very much, when you look very closely at this, this person has their eyes open, but it looks like they're closed. They're watching you. They have, they're very passionate. They really want to talk to you. They want to have fun with you. They want to have an adventure with you. You may be in a situation where you're not talking to a particular person, in which case it could be that person. But I also see you, you know, at a place in your life where you're just so busy. Your person is afraid to come forward. They're all up in their head. They're, they're very, they're almost tongue tied. It's like, they don't know what to say to you. Like Gemini, I really like you. I want to flirt with you. I want to have fun with you, but I don't know what to say to you. 
I like it. It's very cute. Oh, Gemini energy here. They think you, they see you as very outspoken and they want to run towards you. This person who is so tongue tied has so much that they want to say to you that they're coming in fast in the recent past. <laughs> so I think that they let an opportunity go by because they didn't know what to say. Look at that King of Pentacles. You have a King of Pentacles, somebody who's very stable, somebody who's very passionate, very loyal, somebody who's done very well, someone who wants legacy, and we just saw that, and the good stuff coming in. When you get the Ten of Pentacles and you get the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles definitely wants to build legacy. Very loyal person, somebody who may be older than you, Gemini. We get the energy. Oh, passion. Oh, my God. This person has. They are so beside themselves. But look at how cool they're being. On the surface, you can't see what's going on beneath the surface. I mean, it's like you would not have any idea that this person wants to make love all night long. They see you as absolutely stunning and exciting. I like it. It's fun. The judgment card. Okay, so there has been this person in the near future will make a decision and release something. This is a karma card, too. Sometimes if you are in a situation where you argued, argued with somebody, they may come back. They may make an approach. The Three of Coins is collaboration. The Ace of Swords is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. They want to tell you something. The Swords are about truth. Nine of Swords, oh, somebody wants to apologize. Somebody has remorse and regret over something they said or something that they did. Let's go ahead and clarify. This person is very fearful. The Nine of Swords, that sleepless nights, it's teary nights, it's sad, it's distraught, but you have the Eight, the Nine, and then you have the, the uh, Knight of Swords. So this person rushed in and was very foolish in their approach to you. And they want, they have such a, they have so much desire for you that they want you back, but they don't know if they can have you back. They're going to come in with a great offer, though. The King of Pentacles has a big coin. That's a great offer. So whatever this person is offering you in the near future, it's going to be very significant. The Moon card says that they're very fearful. They feel underwater with this. They feel, um, they really feel fearful. They do. That's a subconscious mind also. So this person has some sort of issue that's bothering them that probably has little to do with you. <gasps> they are so sorry. It looks like they didn't give you much. Your person may have breadcrumbed you. They may not have given to the relationship. They feel very foolish. Now they want to come in as a king of pentacles. Yeah, three of wands. They want to have a relationship. They want to make a commitment. They want to make a commitment. They want to move forward very rapidly. They want to travel with you. They want to have new adventures with you. They might want to even share business opportunities with you. You know, like couples that have a family business. Five of Wands. Ooh, you guys have had a fight. You had a fight, and they got all up in their ego. And this person really did say things that made you walk away. Gemini, you walked away from this person. You just said, oh, hell no. Oh, what's a judgment card about? So I don't know if you want this person to return, but they did not expect the tower to come down. They did not expect that as an outcome. They just didn't. So they got some sort of karma that they didn't see coming. Ten of Cups, you're all happy. They see you working away. They're watching you. I would say they're watching you. And I feel, I, wa I think they watch you late at night, but you would never know it. And I think they would keep it a secret from you. Ten of Cups, you're having a great time. You're enjoying your life. You're great family, great friends, people who love you. This person, the hidden truth is that they love you very deeply. They feel really tender, tender love for you. I don't, but I don't think they told you. This is what's hidden. Yeah, they want to hold on to you. They can't get over the memories. 
They can't stop. They just cannot stop thinking about you. They are holding on to you so tightly and the memories that you shared so tightly that it's just, it's unraveling them to some degree. They are not sleeping well. They are obsessed with getting you back. They're very possessive of the idea of having you. You are their soulmate. Will they take action? Oh, those cards almost went flying. I'm gonna take these, they flipped over. Judgment. The star. They feel as though you're out of reach. They feel as though you're going to tell them, really, they, tell, they think you're gonna tell them to go, go to hell. Yep, the seven of swords, they lied to you. And when you asked for answers, they were all defensive. I don't see these as action cards. I would say though, that, that this person is going to find being apart from you so intolerable that they may take action by June, by your birthday, is what I'm seeing. The lover's card. I think that it would be the sort of thing where they would probably bring you a bouquet, that it would shock you, that you know you're having a great celebratory day. I, I have to, I can't promise that, but in the meantime, I do not think that they have it when the timing is right. Yeah, Gemini. The Lover's card is your card. It's your energy. We saw the Magician card earlier on the cut. That's your energy. And they would time it when they thought that they could be lucky in acknowledging it.